The Apple Pencil is one of the most interesting accessories for the iPad. There's a lot of hidden secrets for it, and I'm gonna spill them all for you in this video. One of my favorite secrets to the Apple Pencil is when the iPad is locked like this, you can take the Apple Pencil and tap the display. It wakes up and brings a new note from the Notes app, and you can just start writing out notes here. Now, you only get access to a new note. Everything else is still locked behind the iPad, so you'll have to enter your passcode or use Face ID or Touch ID to unlock it. But doing this gives you access to a new note so you can start jotting things down as quickly as possible. The next one is new to iPadOS 14. When you have the Apple Pencil, you can actually draw a shape, and even if it's unperfect, you can hold for a second, release, and it will fix that shape to be a perfect shape. So in this case, a circle, but you can do other things as well, like a triangle or a square. Technically that's a rectangle. This is perfect for somebody like me that just isn't very good at drawing. One thing I see people overlook a lot is the fact that the Apple Pencil has pressure sensitivity. Now, because of the way the Apple Pencil pairs with the iPad, it gives it a unique option to use this, whereas a lot of other stylists that just emulate a finger, well, they can't do this. So what this means is we could draw kind of light like this, or we could apply pressure to the screen and get thicker, more bold strokes. Now, one thing you might see a lot throughout the system is this toolbar right down here. This is Pencil Kit. This is a standard set of tools developers can use in any app to take advantage of the Apple Pencil. Now, there are apps like GoodNotes, Procreate, Concepts that use their own toolkit that developers have custom made for their apps, and that's totally separate, but there is this standard toolkit as well. So you can use this to just write out standard notes. So we'll type in hello, world. Now, what's cool about this is we can use this lasso tool right here, draw, draw a little shape around that, and then we can drag this around wherever we want it to go. And we can tap on it to get the copy and paste menu. So we can cut, paste. One thing you can do is you can highlight handwritten text as if it were type text. So we could tap on this here, drag the handlebars, and then we can tap on it again and get the menu. So we can cut, copy, delete, but this is the interesting option right here, copy as text. So what we can do with that now is we can create a new note, tap on that and hit paste. Now I have terrible handwriting, so it messed up the hello part, but if you have any sort of decent handwriting, it will copy hello world from there. So one more interesting thing is when you're highlighting text here, you grab the handlebars here, tap that, you can insert space above and it will actually force all of that stuff down. So now we could actually do type notes or whatever we wanted to from there. Now, one thing that gets overlooked quite a bit, especially now that the iPad has support for cursor, trackpad, mouse support, all that stuff, is that you can use the Apple Pencil for navigation. So you can use it to tap on menus and things like that, bring up the pencil kit thing, create a new note, stuff like that, and just move throughout the system. I use this a lot with my 11 inch iPad Pro because I don't pair a keyboard and mouse with it. I use the Apple Pencil to navigate the UI. Now, one of my favorite features that came to iPadOS 14 is Scribble. And basically what this is, is it converts handwritten text to type text. So right here I have drafts. This is a text editor that uses type text. It has nothing to do with handwriting, pencil kit, drawing, anything like that. But I can go ahead and use the Apple Pencil and write out, hello world. And it converted that handwriting to type text. Now you could do the same standard things with this. You can highlight it. You can drag the handlebars, do select, uh, cut, copy, delete, whatever you want. Now, say you were messed something up. Say we didn't want world. We could just scratch that out and we could say, hello, galaxy. Pretty cool. I use Scribble a lot with my 11 inch iPad Pro again. Again, I don't have a keyboard or trackpad or mouse paired with this. So I use it as a tablet and the Apple Pencil as the navigation and the input method. Another really cool hidden feature with the Apple Pencil is you can take the Apple Pencil, swipe in from the bottom left corner and take a screenshot. Now this is the screenshot editor. You have access to all the pencil kit tools down here. 
so you can mark it up and do anything you want. But one really cool feature that really isn't related to the Apple Pencil, but we're here, so I'm gonna show you it anyways, is right here, you have the screen tab that it's on. But if we change this to full page, it actually creates a PDF of whatever you're on. So in this case, it's my website. So we can create a PDF document right out of that and use the share sheet to save it to wherever we want. Now, this is a PDF I opened from the Files app right here. And if you see in this top right hand corner, you have the Pencil Kit icon again. We can tap on that, get access to the Pencil Kit. Right in this menu, you can choose to auto minimize. So if you turn this off, you'll have the full access to the toolbar all the time. If you don't want that, you can turn that on and it'll hide it into just this one icon and you can tap and reveal it. You can hit this plus button right here and hit add signature. Now you can insert your own signature, add a remove by using the Apple Pencil. We can just say blah, 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 done. And we can drag this around wherever we want, scale it, and perfect. We now inserted a signature into a PDF that's just open right from the Files app. And all we had to do was hit this button, hit the plus button, and add signature. In settings, you can choose what the double tap feature on the Apple Pencil does. Personally, I like current tool and eraser, but you can switch it between the current tool and the last tool or the color palette, or just turn it off if you don't, if you find yourself accidentally hitting it. You can also turn off scribble if you want, but again, I highly recommend it being on. It's really nice when you don't have a keyboard attached to your iPad, but you can also turn on and off this feature, only draw with Apple Pencil. If you like to draw with your finger or if you have another stylus you wanna use, you can turn that off. But personally, I just use the Apple Pencil when I'm drawing, so I leave that on. Now, not everything Apple Pencil related is about handwriting or drawing. This is Ferrite right here. This is an audio editor that I use to record podcasts, edit podcasts, and spoken word audio. It actually has a setting under gesture and pencil that allows you to choose what the pencil does. So you can choose what the double tap feature does and how the Apple Pencil works when editing with it. This is really cool because it shows that the Apple Pencil isn't limited to drawing or handwriting. Another thing you can do with the Apple Pencil is when you're in the Books app, you can actually highlight stuff to take notes. So we can use the Apple Pencil right here to highlight this section, and then we can come in here to the Notes field and see what I've highlighted already in this book. So you can do this at any point on just about anything. So we can highlight this whole thing. Let's, let's add that and then go back over here to the notes and you can see that was added. It's a pretty cool feature if you're somebody that likes to read a lot in the Books app and you wanna take notes. The battery widget will show the current life of the Apple Pencil. It's not something I need a reference very often. I've been using the Apple Pencil here for about the last hour and it's only at 95%. So the battery life on this thing is pretty good, especially considering I got this pencil, I believe in 2018. Paperlike is a channel sponsor in one of the best products to complement your iPad and Apple Apple Pencil. What it is is a textured display. It's a matte screen protector. So when you're using your Apple Pencil and you're writing on the display, you get feedback. So it feels more like pen and paper, that, that really nice feeling where you get a little bit of friction when writing or drawing. The paper like levels up your iPad and Apple Pencil to make them work on a whole new level. It's one of my favorite products to use with my iPad and I use it every single day. I highly recommend everyone check out the Paperlike and I'm gonna put a link in the description below to where you can check it out. So that's it, that is the secrets to the Apple Pencil. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite app to use with the Apple Pencil is. Mine is GoodNotes, I really enjoy that app for writing out notes and journaling and things like that. Thank you all so much for watching. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video, subscribe if you haven't already and have a great day.